Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. It's March 2020, we've got a lovely new screen in the Tomcat in the Rio mainly, but also in the Pilot. It is the TID AVIA screen, please spell what AVIA means, RC. AOA, Vertical Velocity, ILS, ACLS. Roger, so that's just going to show how to use it along with the ACL very quickly. So we're going to go gear down, we're going to go flaps down, we're going to go hook down. We're going to go autopilot to ACL and engage the autopilot. We are going to put our automatic throttle on, hold there, readjust as necessary, pop over to here. We're going to go landing mode. We're going to go steering command to AWL. We're going to go TID turned on there. Next, we're going to ask Jester to hook us up to the carrier with the data link. That. Wait for the steering information to come along. This is not an ACLS tutorial. We're just showing you how to use it in collaboration with AVI page. So we've got a steering command. And what we're going to do next is pop to the rear seat and populate the TID AVIA. We're going to go to data link and the master knob. We're then going to click on TID AVIA. Let it populate, which takes a few seconds. Then AVI ACLS. Okay, what we've got here is a screen that helps the Rio monitor the landing situation to help take some of the work off uh, the pilot. It gives him an extra set of eyes, if you like, because it's a high stress scenario. We've got lat long there, we've got our VSI there in hundreds of feet per minute, we've got our angle of attack there in units, currently 14 degrees, uh, units about 7 degrees angle of attack, which is, is what we needed. We've got a correct radar altimeter there, we've got DME there, although it's not going to be uh, accurate or useful in this case. We've got our vector there. We've got, interestingly as well, our localizer there and our glide slope there repeated. And then the good thing, in fact, let's head back to the pilot before we go any further, because we can get obviously a TID repeater in a pilot. Back to the pilot. Just going to check everything's going, everything back on. Again, we get a repeater down here. We can see here for the pilot, which is cool. So we can go basically completely heads down now and land a plane in collaboration with our VDI and our AVIA if we don't want to use our HUD. So we're going to unpause, we just fly the plane for a bit. We're going to have to do some quite drastic maneuvers, obviously, because we've come in a bit funny here, but that's fine. Now, one really useful thing is that the localizer, especially, is repeated in the AVIA, but it's shown with a lot more resolution, if that kind of makes sense. And it's actually a lot easier to use, especially the localizer on the AVIA than on the VDI or the HUD. And you'll kind of see what I mean as I go. You can see it's moving in the AVIA, but not in the other two screens. And so that's gonna help me merge with the localizer. Right, just gotta concentrate for a minute. We've got landing check. Preparing to merge with the uh, glide slope. Okay, and we're gonna merge with the localizer as best we can. Okay, that is us in the pipe, I believe. We're gonna hand that over now with nozzle steering. Okay, we've got a successful handover. Command control. Now, if I was a human Rio uh, and multiplayer, I could sit back and monitor that. I'm not gonna do that because I've got a feeling it might actually cancel the ACLS and single player, um, which I'm not willing to do. But I can monitor from here, as you can see. Everything looking five by five. I wish I could fly this well. And in we go. Three wire, please. Three wire. Yeah, lovely. So that shows you how to use the brand spanking new AVIA three wire Rio page in collaboration with the ACLS. I hope that was useful. And see you later.